hello guys and welcome back to a brand new edition and the Asari Dix vlog first off let me say happy new year to you guys I've been away from the vlog sphere in a while and I'm back with a bang and today was something for my Nigerian or for my fellas out there who are trying to um, woo that Nigerian sister or who is trying to please their Nigerian lover and today we're going to be talking about how to please a Nigerian or African woman so I know Nigerian women have this misconception of uh, being blood suckers or sorry, pocket suckers who just want to suck your pockets dry and who are evil witches or flying on brooms and all that crappy stuff. But we're really sweet women. We just love to be cared for and to be treated right. And it takes a good man to bring out that part of us. So let's let's get to know what you guys need to do. Okay, so first off, I'll say PDA. Now, public display of affection. I'm not talking about the mushy stuff like kissing and holding hands and making out in public. You know, Africans or Nigerian women are more conservative than Oibos when it comes to displaying affection publicly. So why don't you put flowers on or send her flowers to her workplace, put balloons on her car, send her those tasty cupcakes and, you know, something that everyone else can see. By doing this, you make her feel special and you also win allies. For example, you send her flowers to work. Note that everyone in the office is going to see her getting flowers. Now, her true or her genuine friends in the office, her female friends in the office, will all be like, oh, that's so sweet. You're so lucky. You have this special man. My man doesn't send me flowers to the office. All he does wants me to pound, pound the yam and cook him a goosey soup. So you need to do those things. Also, by doing this, you also shoo other guys away. When other guys see her getting flowers or see her happy in her relationship or see her getting cupcakes or stuff like that. Now, they don't want to get, they don't want to put too much effort to try and steal a happy woman. You know, it's harder or the target for guys to take someone else's girlfriend is when the girl is unhappy. So when they know she's okay, she's so content in the relationship, they're not ready to put in that much effort to take her away after all all they're just trying to do is bang so yeah sending her cupcakes sending her flowers sending her sweet notes at the office is just going to make her feel special like i've said get you allies and show off the other men number two is listen now i know a lot i get upset when i'm talking to someone and they aren't listening or they aren't paying attention now i know what guys like to talk about isn't what girls like to talk about guys like to talk about sex and violence and mystery and all that kind of stuff and women we could we could be a little petty at times you can't we like to talk about what a colleague wore to the office or how upsetting our boss can be or just minor stuff so and women love to be heard or love to see that i'm paying attention to them so um why don't you initiate the conversation why don't you direct it where you want to go where you're interested in for example i know some guys or you a guy will be upset when he's watching the match and that's when his girlfriend wants to come telling him about what how her day went so why don't you um, talk or generate conversation when it's you're free to when it's the right time for you so she doesn't come talking your ears off when you're not in the mood for it also, you have to control the conversation, like I said. Um, ask her questions that you're actually interested in so she doesn't just go blabbing on and on and on and on and on. Okay? Um, with doing that, you actually make her feel like, oh, you're interested in what she has to say. Um, you're into her because <laughs> that's what it looks like, okay? The third thing I would say is make plans. Apart from this being so sexy when a guy calls you up and says calls his girl up and say look i've made plans i've made plans put on this put on some good pair of shoes and a nice dress and i'm coming to pick you by six o'clock okay that makes her feel special like oh he took time out to plan this for me or he's or he's so sexy you know i know sometimes men don't like to do the things their girlfriends or their girls do because it's women and men are different like i said so um why don't you plan something even other than making her upset all the time that by turning down her request to go out so you should um plan something take her out by this by doing this you actually get to pick what you like to do and not just impose or not just not her just imposing all the time on you so make plans and make your girl feel special 
and the fourth thing is put your best foot forward now what i mean by this is each time you're going out with your girl you have to look fly now you have to look your best now the thing is that girls each time we go out with a man we're always looking around to see who's checking him out if girls are looking at him because we want to see or we're making a choice if we're if we're lucky to be in that situation okay so um you have to be a gentleman you have to make others all oh, at what you do to her how you treat her okay because the more she sees other girls are liking you or checking you out or how much other girls want to be with you that's when she's really going to up her game so she, nothing goes wrong so she doesn't lose you okay you have to dress good dress nice smell nice for her you have to treat her right and be sweet, be good to her, make her know that she's really lucky to have you. We all love compliments. In fact, we live off compliments. If you get your hair dead and your man doesn't compliment you, you keep, you start thinking, oh, is it ugly? Do I look ugly today? You know, so women really need compliments to survive. We really do. So why don't you compliment her? Tell her her, her body looks good or her hair looks nice. She looks, she looks pretty in that dress. Her eyes are gorgeous. Stuff like that. Her smile is pretty, you know. Doing that, you also you also shook other guys away too because, for example, she's coming out her house and you already told her in the morning, oh baby, you look so good, you're so beautiful, and she comes out like feeling so beautiful too. Another guy on the road like, oh hey mama, you're pretty. She'd be like, please, I've already heard that from my man, by someone I actually care about, you know. So by doing this, you boost her confidence. She doesn't even care about what other guys compliment her. Okay, she she says thank you. She cares about it, but it's not something she'll go and start fantasizing later. Oh, he thinks I have a nice bootay. <laughs> so, yeah, compliment your woman. And it also makes her feel more, more... I don't know the word to use but it also for example you tell her oh she has beautiful legs or she likes you like how her cleavage looks in that dress trust me she'll start to show them off more she'll start to show you more of the legs you like she'll start to wear more clothes that's sexy for you so it actually makes her confident like I said and um, a confident woman is a very freaky woman <laughs> So when you boost her confidence, she starts to do all those nice things for you only. So wrap for this week. I hope I was I. <laughs> I don't know, but this is something for my guys, Chad. I just wanted to do something for you guys, and um, yeah, I'll see you next week. I hope you enjoyed this one. Bye bye.